Hello. Uh, welcome back to Monster Train. I uh, hope you're all enjoying the stream in today. I am one of the developers of Monster Train on Monster Train. My name is Brian. I am one of the programmers and uh, I also do a little bit of design work and all sorts of other little things, I'm sure. And today we're going to be playing some friends and foes. So I wanted to do it a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to do two special things for this stream. I'm watching the stream chat. Uh, hopefully this is all going okay. If you can hear me, if it all sounds right, let me know. I can adjust things. I don't stream that often. Um, the two things I'm going to do, it's Twitch plays Monster Train. So you all need to tell me what cards to draft. So in the stream chat, you just need to yell out what cards you want me to pick. I'm just going to kind of look at the stream chat and uh, majority wins. I'm not going to do a vote tally, but thanks for uh, confirming Zeroth. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Also, if you have any Seinfeld trivia, I'm taking Seinfeld trivia. I'm a fan of Seinfeld. I'm preparing for Seinfeld trivia at the end of the month, and I could use some practice. So that's another thing that we'll have going on today. Let's jump into it. So I thought we would get started with, with Melting Remnant using the new Little Fade champion, which has the Primitive Mold to reform random unit. That feels like it would go pretty well with the new Queen's Implanes. So I was thinking primary Melting Remnant with Hellhorned, both on Exiled. I'm just gonna do Co Covenant 1 because um, I'm actually not super great at this game and I don't wanna embarrass myself totally. So we'll go with that, if that sounds good. Let's take off. Okay, so we got the draft, two of those, two Fortify and Engulfed in Smoke to get some stealth up on friendly friendlies. Um, if anyone's new to the game as well watching this, you have questions, just send them in chat. I'm happy to answer. Uh, if you have questions just about the development of the game, I could do my best, best to answer that as well. Although I have to be careful not to spoil any upcoming things. Um, all right, so let's get started. I'm going to go upgrade the champion, see what paths we got. Each of these champions has three paths. You get to choose two at random at the start. So we could go Endless Little Fade. Um, on Extinguish, she just gets better and better, but also goes up in cost, making it more difficult to play, or the Spikes one. Um, I love Spikes, so I'm gonna have a hard time not just going with Spikes, but I do want to do the Extinguish stuff. Um, so maybe we'll go with that? This seems this seems just more generally good. It seems like it'd be more difficult to build the Eternal Flame, but maybe more fun. So I'm gonna try and do the Eternal Flame, even though I'm leaning towards Spikes, because I love Spikes. Love this passive damage in games. All right, let's go into the horde. Uh, I always take this merchant cost. It's, a, it's not a super exciting one, but it's just generally good. Oh, but we got Ashes of the Fallen. Summon triggers an additional time. The, there's a few artifacts that work like this, and they're all super good, so I'm just going to go for that one. Um, go into the first battle. Um, ooh, this one seems like it's going to be tough for us to deal with. Uh... We had Queen Implins, though, so maybe that'll help. Let's go for it. Why not? Do it. Zero saying do it. I'll do it. If you tell me it's Twitch play, so if you tell me to do something, I'll do it. Uh, within reason. And within the context of Monster Train, I should say. Okay, uh, let's see if we can deal with this stuff. So it's actually okay if Little Fate dies, because she will come back. Um, and the reason I wanted to play this build was because I want to reform Queen Implin, so I'm going to play those out. Um, so they can tank some damage and deal some damage. So I think this is going to work out. Um, oh, I forgot about that combo. So Ashes of the Fallen summon triggers. Queen's Implants as a summer tr summon trigger. Um, would Ember Cost effect carry over on Endless Effect cards? Um, well, the way this works is when Little Fade is extinguished, when she dies, uh, she gets plus 20 attack, plus 5 health, and then her cost goes up by 1. Um, so it does it does work the way you would think it would work. Um, all right, so I'll throw her out just to, to attack up there. Uh, nothing to reform yet. Maybe I'll throw this out just to start damaging these people, right? I think that's fine. Because I could also power up the primitive molds for later. I'm going to save the draft. I don't feel like I need to play those yet. I got the attack speed up to ultra. Um, if people want to slow it down, happy to do that. Okay, let's see if we can get the Collector and protect Little Fade. Oh, uh, what am I going to do? Okay, I got Stealth. I have one Primitive Mold. I feel like that's a good thing to do. Pull back one of these Queen's Implanes. Um, put it out to kill those, and then we'll kill this 
collector with little fades attack, or I guess with the implants attack. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna armor up little fade. It feels like I actually want her to die for the the boss battle. I want her to be <laughs> bumped up, but um. I'm actually going to throw out this draft, and the reason for it, I want to reform it later for more burnout. So I want it to die. Um, it could just go here. It doesn't matter. I want it to die. Uh, Fade does need to die at least once. Yes, to get that benefit. So I'm going to try and set that up before the boss battle, which is about to happen. Uh, can I actually... Well, this, this won't hurt. I don't know if it'll help with the math. Oh, yeah. Now it'll actually get a couple attacks in. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna engineer a situation where she dies and, oh, I will need to take at least one damage to the pyre to do that. Um, that's unacceptable. So that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna throw this out just to kill them. Uh, let's put some stewards on the bottom just to, so we can get some damage output on the uh, boss when it appears. So learning, I haven't actually played Friends and Foes update all that much, to be honest. So I'm still kind of learning some of the strategies, um, realizing I made some mistakes with Little Fade. Uh, let's just deal with this up top first. Um, ooh, I got a couple of problems I need to deal with. I can stealth these two to kill these two, or I could stealth down here, which could be good to get through some of these clergymen. Um, Primitive Mold is never not going to be bad. Because I want to get that draft back. So I think that's the way to go. Got it. Which means I can put this in front to tank the damage. Would it combo if you made Fade into a Burnout card? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. So, uh, oh yeah, I'll Primitive Mold. Last thing I can really do here to get back in the Queen's Impling. And I'll kill those two front units, which is great. All right, so I'm going to do damage to the champion. 62, that's perfect. It's almost half the damage I need to do. So everything's going fine. All right. What can we do on the middle floor here? Um, all right, this draft is going to go away. I wish I could kill it off now so I could reform it. But I'm going to do Prim and Maul to bring back... Oh, a Train Steward, sure. So we'll put that up front. We'll put a draft behind it. Uh, they'll do, again, another... So we're going to be fine here. I'm going to just put some armor on Little Fade because I can't think why not. Oh, maybe I'll throw a Train Steward in there? This one's going to die, which means, like, yeah, this seems good. And then four to five. Okay. If you gave Fade the Burnout effect... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I could I could try and draft some Burnout cards. To, but I think I'll just sacrifice... In the future battles, I'll just make sure she dies early on so I can get her back. That's going to be the plan. Okay, I'm actually not going to win this battle, but I can. I think this will switch things. Perfect. So that'll mean... Okay. And a, a little trick with Monster Train. When you see the red X, as tempting as it is to play out all your cards, like, oh, what? this can't do any harm. Um, <laughs> it's actually kind of good just to end the battle and take the win because you can play a card, and that might change the math, and it might not be in your favor. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. So what am I picking? Twitch chat, you have only 10 seconds to start yelling out the card you want. Um, Wicklash, this is the one you were talking about, uh, Vuriel. Apply Burnout to it. So if you start naming, what do you want me to pick? Draft, Molded, Wicklash. Molded, I got one vote for Molded. I'm only, it's only like five seconds left here to get your vote in. Molded is not the card I would pick, but that is fine. I'll pick it. Two for Wicklash, one for Draft. Okay, we got votes for Wicklash. I'm picking that one. Thank you. And how about this one? Another quick one. 10 seconds. Multi-Nymp, Ritual Battle, Welder Helper. Uh, all these are pretty solid. We're going to have a lot of imps going on if we pick a bunch of imps. We already have a lot of imps in the deck. Uh, welder. We've got two for Welder. I'm going to be picking that one in five, four, three, two, one. Welder help. I like it. I always go for the damage output imps, but... Um, Welder Helper is good as well. I think, uh, I feel like we, do we have units? We have a lot of units that we could upgrade. Do we have any spells that are worth upgrading at this point? Not really. Fortify, we could do like a double stack on. Um, so we're gonna go this side. First pick up the banner unit. Um, 
I'll just make this decision just to help speed things th across. Burnout one to burnout. So yeah, there's this idea, we already have a burnout strategy uh, with Wickless, so I'm gonna pick Lady of the Reformed to go into that. Yeah, Ashes of the Fallen plus Welder is, yes. Ashes of the Fallen, that is a great point. More summon triggers is, is good. Uh, sure, let's look at this one, Large Stone. On the draft is like, I think where I'm gonna go with this because it only brings it up to two, one to two capacity, but we get a ton more damage output. 20 up to 50 damage. It gets plus 30 damage off of this. So that's got to be the pick, right? I'll put on this one, though. Uh, rage, or up, so this is 14 damage that goes down. This is 10. We don't really have a rage strategy yet. So, I mean, maybe I'll do both. I'll put it on this. And we're going all in on these drafts. <laughs> these drafts are going to be super good. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to save them. I'll purge one card. Let's just go get rid of one of these train stewards. And we should be good to go. Okay, next battle. I didn't even look at what the bosses were. Um, I kind of ignore that. Surf the temperament. Temper the strength of your unit. Okay. Non-boss. Okay, we could deal with this. This is not a problem. Um, I don't know that we need the unit draft, but it feels like we already have a lot of units in this deck. Um, okay. Yeah, so I want to just put Little Fade out to probably, probably just sacrifice. Not really, nothing to reform. And so this will die, and then Lady the Reform will take a hit from this one, and she'll... Uh, so I think she's worth putting out. It's kind of set up for later. Yeah, with our drafts. So down here will be our draft room. Uh, I'll give her some armor to negate that damage. Yeah, because I, I don't want to do stealth yet here, because I want Little Fate to die. So armor, and that's all we're doing. Again, if you have any questions about Monster Train, the development of the game, anything like that, happy to answer. I'm one of the programmers on the team. I did... Um, a lot of card programming, character programming, kind of the core gameplay stuff is mostly what I focused on, as opposed to like the UI or the networking, multiplayer stuff. That was all other folks on the team. Um, but I did a lot of this kind of card stuff. Okay, so this is a strategy. We're gonna put draft in here. On revenge is gonna give up more burnout, so the drafts are gonna stay alive. They don't have a lot of health, so we're not gonna. And then Little Fate's starting to get pretty good. So. Little Fade, maybe we'll just put down as damage output for now. Um, I'll put Little Fade up here. I don't know why, that just feels like the thing to do. Oh, we could get more damage on, yes, on the draft. So I'll make this draft super good. Plus more burnout. Lady their form will give the draft more burnout. This draft is not going away. Are there any plans to bring this game to the console? I think that is the number one question we get on the development team. Um, you know, I, I there's not much I can say at this point other than it's definitely something we want to do. <laughs> and a lot of people have asked for it, so, you know, if it were announced at some point, you shouldn't be too surprised. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, uh, it's okay if Little Fade dies here, but she's pretty good. Um, it'd be even better if she went up one, but I kinda wanna do some damage output here. So I think I'm gonna start doing some damage. Also, it'd be nice to kill this Reconciler before we get more. Okay, so this will kill both of them if I throw down this Imp Lane. Um, it'd be nice to, for an Imp Lane to die because I actually want these Primitive Molds to do something. Uh, and they don't do anything right now. Let me figure out the map. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna die. So if I put a Train Steward here, that seems like that'll be good. Yes, the math worked out. Okay, what else can we do here? Uh, I can fortify her, and I'll get this out of the deck. Done. Okay, we're not gonna kill this one yet, but we might be able to swing it in our favor. Let's see, so Queen's Imp Lane is in the bin. Um, oh, another draft out? Easy, right? That should do it. That'll do it. Um, yeah, let's just end it there. Drafts. Draft game. All right. 
Uh, give me a pick. What do you want? Uh, this one kind of goes into our draft strategy. Oh, there's another draft, though. I mean, we should just pick the draft, right? Let's just see if we can get, like, four drafts. We might get the event unless you copy card five times. We could just have all the drafts. It feel, yeah. So I've got two votes for draft. Cleanse for the... Oh! That's not a bad pick. Three for the draft. There's, these are all good choices for our deck right now. I'm just kind of feeling greedy with the drafts. <laughs> all right, let's do the draft. A draft deck. Um, what do we like here? I got one vote for a skip, which is a totally valid vote. If you want me to skip, I will skip. Um, but I like the imp. Why not get some range rage imps, right? I think we're probably going to take the... I'm guessing with the amount of units we have, we're going to take the capacity upgrade on the first boss. So... I don't know if I'll have a lot of energy to play this kind of stuff. So two for the Imp. We're probably going to take the Imp here. I'm going to pick the Imp. Yeah, I got a lot of votes for Imp. Imp it is. I agree with that pick. Um, what do you want here? Uh, what would I take if it were me? Um, I don't know if I'm really feeling any of these. Uh, Big Sludge actually is going to get a lot of triggers because we're going to try and get these Imps to die a lot, right? So Harvest will trigger a bunch. I'm going to pick Big Sludge unless I get some votes here telling me otherwise. Tycoon. Skip is my feeling. I, I was thinking a skip, but then I started thinking about all of our imps, right? Sludge and keep putting things in front. Okay, so here's the plan. We'll pick, we'll put Sludge, three capacity. We'll put imps in front of the Sludge. Let those imps get killed, powering the Sludge to do the damage. And we'll defend the Sludge with imps that come back infinitely with our primitive mold, which returns the imps to our hand. That is the strategy that we got. So that's our second bottom room, draft Lady the Reform, middle room, sludge. Um, I'm very tempted. To, oh, wait a second. We can duplicate a draft. <laughs> we gotta go duplicate the draft, right? <laughs> first, I'm gonna go to the caverns. Just I don't know. Let's just see what happens here. I think you should go to the caverns first, right? Uh, so we get. Oh, this has to be plus one capacity. Or plus we're on a random floor, or plus minus one on floor. Um, history of the world on a random floor. This one's tempting to get, right? Uh, it's between these two. It's the same net capacity. We have a lot of units that actually just take up one capacity. So I don't know that it really matters. It's kind of the hammer is the safe pick. Sure, I got two votes for the hammer. I'm totally fine with the hammer. Hammer sounds great to me. Okay, we got the hammer. Now we don't necessarily need to go for the capacity upgrade. So keep that in mind. So which is the best draft? This one, right? It's just more total damage with the rage. So we'll duplicate. Oh, I should have went here first, just in case. Um, we could maybe get the Demon Fiend because we could lower the cost of it or we could go for the energy upgrade now that we have our capacity through the hammer. Go for the Ember upgrade. Or we could skip it. We already have a lot of units in this deck, so even with the capacity, maybe we can't fit them. It feels strange that what I say matters. I've owned this game for three days, but hey, you know what? That's fine with me. It's 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 a democracy here. You vote and your vote counts just as much as everyone else. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Demon Fiend. <laughs> I don't know. And then after Talos, we'll go. We'll do the energy route, the Ember route. So this is the new boss, Talos. So she attacks on her turn, which is a new thing in this update. And enemies enter with Rage 2, and then she attacks every turn and gains armor on Slay. So this is actually a problem with our Imp strategy, right? Because she's going to get armor... How much armor? Armor 25 for killing our Imps, which is bad. <laughs> Alright, so we'll avoid the Imp strategy when she's in that room. Um, but I think we can throw away Imps here. Uh, yeah, this is going to work out great. So we're going to do the Imp to kill the front two. And then... Should we just throw a little fade away? Um, we don't want to give it to Talos because Talos will get armor. So we'll we want to throw a little fade away once. So we'll put little fade here. It'll put Lady of the Reform strategy 
in this room, draft on the bottom room. So later form helping with the drafts. Uh, we'll go ahead and give her some armor. Uh, train steward, I don't want to just waste the, the card, so I'm going to throw it in the top room. Train stewards go on top. Okay. This we can't play yet. This is like an investment for our future, right? This is our um, our, our savings fund right here. Okay, Little Fate is back. She's better than ever. Uh, unfortunately, okay, wait, Talos attacks last. So we just need to engineer things where this gets killed first by the Forge Discipline. That's fine. Disciple. Okay. Uh, Wicklash to burn friendly unit. Uh, we don't have any drafts yet. I can, I don't have anything to primitive mold. So let's put Little Fate here because she'll die but she'll die from i keep pointing at the screen like you can see what i'm pointing at <laughs> so that's fine because she's gonna get killed by this clergyman rather than talus uh, if talus was a harvest trigger this would be different right but um man i want to throw this welder helper in, but i don't know what that's going to do the math in terms of talus i want to avoid talus getting that extra armor um it should be okay right it should be okay 20, uh, I think it's going to screw up the math. So I'll throw the welder helper, oh, maybe up top. I can, um, whiplash. Does it help to whiplash anyone here? I don't think so. Sorry, this shouldn't be as confusing as it is, but it would be nice to get some hits with little fade here. Because this room is going to be a problem for us as it moves up. So I'm just going to take the risk and... Oh yeah, this applies twice. So this this little imp in front's gonna get forty armor and just survive. So it's fine. Just tank it. A forty armor queen's impling. <laughs> sure. Um, maybe I'll put some more damage output on the queen's impling because it's gonna die anyway next turn. Yeah, that seems good. So now at least this front unit dies. And these, their rage goes down. The the Train steer were taking. Oh boy. Okay, that's not a big problem yet. Oh, we could counter her strategy with the big sludge strategy. So let's get the big sludge strategy going. So that. <coughs> sorry. Get some water. This is up for, up top. The train steer will die eventually, and we're gonna put imps in front. Um, oh, geez, I hate giving away. I think this, let's just go with the strategy, right? Oh, but no, I gotta get the drafts going. Um, oh shoot, I forgot that she has burnout. Lady Deformed is gonna get burned out. Okay, there's nothing we could do about that. So that just happens. Um, what do I wanna do here? Let's, let's put a draft down anyway, just to do some damage to this room. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I totally forgot Lady the Reform has burnout herself. Alright, so Big Sludge is gonna get a good amount of harvesting now, which is great. Um, primitive Mold, I think I want a Primitive Mold just to bring back that Lady the Reformed, hopefully. Let's try that. It's random, so you never know what you'll get. Uh, this is fine. I think I just throw this here. Because, look, I'm going to get three triggers. There's two triggers there for Big Sludge, and a third when this burns out, this Queen's Implant. Perfect. Uh, little Fade's going to die. I'm actually okay with that, because it'll come back stronger. And it'll cost a little bit more, but that's fine. This room I'm not as worried about. What else can I do here? I can give Stealth, uh, which isn't bad. I'll fortify... I'm thinking Big Sludge. A lot might come down to Big Sludge being very strong at the end of all this. So we'll do that. And what else can I do? They're all just going to die if I... I could put the draft down just because I'll get it back out of this pile later. And that seems fine. Okay. In hindsight, I maybe should have put it in the top room if I could. All right. So Little Fade just got stronger. I just need to pull her back before... Oh, Endless, right? She comes back automatically. All right, so now she's 4511, which is great. Uh, let's always just prim and mold, try and get back a draft. We keep getting a Queen's Impling on that. 
<laughs> Alright, so a lot of stuff is going to die here, which is fine. Uh, I want to put Queen's Implines. I'll put this one up here. Uh, no, that's not as good. These both are going to die, which is going to har double harvest on this guy. It's weird with this harvest ability, and like we want our units to die. And This is why I, I really like Melted Remnant, because they have weird um, strategies like this. All right, let's get Little Fade back out. Let's... Okay, so, I mean, this is a bummer that Talos is getting some healing and some armor. And there's not much I could do about it. But Little Fade's going to get a kill here, which is important. So, that is what it is. Beautiful. Sludge. Sludge strategy. <laughs> Okay, Little Fade versus Talos. Uh, little Fade at least gets one hit in, just something. Uh, what can I do? I can, oh man, for each harvest, just Talos gets so much armor. It's it's a it's a real bummer. Uh, Imp on top, probably right. I got to because, or I could put a draft down and I do the imp to die, and then I'm trying to figure if I could kill all these right. And then this dies, probably not. Um, this is only going to get one hidden. I'm not understanding this math here. Um, I could put the drafts behind Little Fade, which means, I don't know, more damage output basically, right? Um, thinking, 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 got to make a play. Yes, I think this is the right play. Imp on top. And I think I'm going to give up on Little Fade. Maybe I'll, I'll throw her back on top when she comes back. That's the thing to do. Yeah, let her get a hit in. She's going to die. That's happening, right? Uh, let's just make sure... Let's put this draft down just so... Yeah, these don't get through. Okay, uh, let's just throw the steward up here. I don't know. At least Slay doesn't go during Relentless. Is that true? I didn't know that, if that's true. I feel like it would, but... Oh, her ability isn't active during Relentless. You're right. Okay. Steward is just going to die. Um, Little Fade is now pretty good. I think I'm going to put Little Fade up behind the Sludge. This Sludge, I think, is going to do basically kill her alone. So let's put the Little Fade behind... Oh, I forgot Little Fade cost all of her energy because she's died so many times. <laughs> but now we can Primitive Mold. Come on, Draft. We got it. Okay, that's a good Draft. So I'm sticking that Draft in the back. And then I probably just engulf in smoke. Oh, yeah, we're totally fine, right? Yeah, GG. All right, I said we're going to go for energy. We got to go for energy. Okay, give me a pick here. Impolite, Dark Deal, or Transcendent. I gotta go for energy because we gotta be able to play the Demon Fiend. <laughs> we can't actually play it yet. Uh, Impolite is gonna be tough not to pick here. <laughs> There's two imps. You can't just say imp. You want Trans Imp or Impolite? I feel like it's gotta be Impolite. Trans Transcendent Imp is pretty good too. But Impolite um, is 75. Okay, I got only one vote so far. I need some more votes in chat, or I'm going to pick Transcend Temp, which is a fine pick. Impolate. It's tied. Transcend Temp. Two to one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I think Transcend Temp won. Yeah, keep performing. In tra yeah, Transcend Temp is going to be very effective basically so all right uh any opinions on this one i do we probably don't need two lady they're formed given that i can't even play with one properly um we're gonna take energy so we're not gonna have a ton of capacity to play more units but i feel like we had plenty of capacity we're gonna remove the train stewards anyway so we should definitely take steel worker or rail beater probably um I think I, I don't know, I think I like Rail Beater a little bit better here. Any opinions? Gonna pick in five, four, three, two, one. I'll take the Rail Beater. Not a super important one. And I gotta get the Ember. Yeah, I probably should have 
pick the steel one instead of rail beater because rail beater is going to change the math of the room and probably it's probably going to just cause me to mess up <laughs> i shouldn't pick cards that are gonna make me make a mistake uh we don't need health which makes me want to go this way but removing cards would be good but we have money to remove card we have i think we go to the right right do we need Merchant of Magic? I feel like we don't have a lot of spells that can be upgraded usefully. We could lower the cost of some spells. Um, yeah, because we get Forgotten Boons and we can... Yeah, let's just go this way. Alright, see what the upgrade. So, we could continue on the Eternal Flame, which gives us more attack. Uh, I think it goes up from, what, 40 to 60? 20 to 60, so it's like a huge boost, right? Or we could go and get our spikes that we gave away initially. Um, I feel like we have a strategy and we should just stick with it, which is a little fade getting stronger. So, Forgotten Boons. Let's get our banner unit. Oh, two sludges. <laughs> we might. We could probably play two sludges in the same room now, right? Because I no no we only have five capacity. No, we have six capacity. We can play two sludges, but then they don't they don't do anything. Um, I feel like this is a skip, right? Yeah. We don't need... We have one big sludge is enough. Like, how many big sludges do we need? And Lady of the House, I just don't feel like fits in totally with what we've got here. Yeah, it's a skip. Spikes won't do much if fate is meant to die. Yeah, I think that was my thinking there, too. Okay. Upgrade to spell to gain permafrost. This is usually... I mean, this would be pretty good on Engulfed in Smoke. Because Engulfed in Smoke is a timing spell. Like, you want to play it at the right moment where it's most effective. And it's expensive to play. So I kind of like the idea of giving it permafrost. And maybe minus one. Um, do we, have, we don't have anything for magic. We're not doing any damage. So magic power is for spells that do damage or healing. And we don't have any. <laughs> we just don't do it. We're all about units. Uh, I'm going to do the permafrost idea. I like the permafrost idea. And then let's re-roll. What am I looking for if I re-roll? I'm going to purge. Get rid of train steward. I might purge again. Let's purge again. Let's get rid of these train stewards. So we got better things. And let's lower a card's cost by one. Engulfed in smoke. Um, we have extra energy now, so this isn't super necessary. Um, it could be good to, so like, let's say we put on primitive mold and then later we get, um, why am I not thinking of the right term for it? Not holdover. Is it holdover? Hold, why can't I think of the term? The thing that you play the spell and it comes back in your hand, it's like endless for spells. Hold it, holdover, I think it's called. Uh, that could be good. Uh, yeah, cause I think we're just going to keep engulfed in smoke in hand until it's relevant. So I'm just going to do a primitive remold. Holdover, thank you. Um, sometimes when my brain does that. Uh, okay. We are good to go for the next battle. Um, ooh, enemies appear on each floor. Yeah, we can we can deal with this because we're just going to throw those imps at them. We just, hopefully we draw the imps. Now our deck is starting to densify to the point where we might not get the imps, which could be a problem. Okay, we didn't really get any of the imps. None that are relevant. Um... But we got some other stuff that is useful. Like, we got a draft. So let's put Little Fade down. Okay. And she can she can die. That's fine. Uh, then I probably put Rail Beater Draft down. Kind of like, I feel like I want the Rail Beater lower, right? The Rail Beater is better lower because you have, like, these tanky units you want to push to the back so you expose the attackers in the back. Um... I could do, but it's going to die if I put it down there, so... Nope. Let's put the draft out. I know I need that. It kills two of them, and then I can... I want Little Fade to die, so we'll put Rail Beater there. That should do the trick. Okay, and then I'll just give more armor to Rail Beater. Oh, I didn't think of this. I I should have played this in a different order. I should have played Little Fade less, so I could last. So I could put Welder Helper down now to give the Rail Beater some more armor. So we're just going to save that Welder. A little bit of a misplay. Sequencing of cards is important. How good would that be if that was the Big Sludge already? With all those okay, Big Sludge is here. Um, where do I want the Big Sludge? Probably middle room. 
Okay, engulfed in smoke has frozen, so now it'll just stay in hand until we want to play it, which is cool. We could play the Demon Fiend, but we kind of got a problem here. We're, I don't. I'm trying to like make sure the shard, the pirate, didn't take any damage, right? That's what we're trying to do, ultimately to win this game. Um, big Sludge. I want Big Sludge to kind of be in this room, but it's not gonna. Um, big Sludge with a draft behind it is that good? Maybe that's good. And I'll put Little Fate up top. Um, one, two, three. Okay, that is what it is, right? So let's put Little Fade down. And let's put the draft down just to get clear out the room. Love these drafts. Okay, um, Lady the Reformed is supposed to be for the draft room. So we're going to have like the bottom room be the draft room. So let me figure out if... Oh, I was, look, this is interesting, right? Because the rail beater is going to hit this guy first, moving him to the back, and then this quill marksman is going to come to the front and get killed by Little Fate. So that's cool. Um, imp's middle, draft's top. Well, draft's, we got the rail beater up top, so I kind of need to put the draft's on the bottom, which I'm going to do. But, okay, primitive. I should primitive mold. Get a draft back. That changes the math. So we'll throw the draft down. Which clears up that room. We don't have to worry about that now. I like to play this game where I can just like ignore this room now. Right? This room is solved. And nothing can affect it. So I'm going to go and play Lady the Reform down here. We still have three Ember to play. Which is great. Um, she's not really doing a whole lot yet. Um, draft. Because then she'll give the draft some more burnout. And it will survive and last longer. Which is cool. And then I might as well throw one of these down just to block. Oh, it'd be nice to kill this guy. Um, yes, and then I'll put the this one here just to... Oh, I should have put that in the, this room. I messed up. The sludge room. That's the imp room. <laughs> EO said even said it, and I'm just not listening. There's too, there was too many strategies going on at the same time. Yeah, the sludge is all alone. Oh, why did that draft die? Triggers when damaged. Oh, did she not actually take damage? She had armor or something? Is that what happened? Yeah. I didn't think about that. Okay. Um, so she will take damage this time. So it's safe to play this draft down here. Which will largely solves this problem for us. Um, this room, I'm ignoring the sludge and that's not going well. Uh, okay, this draft is going to die. I'm pretty happy with Little Fade, where she's at. So, maybe I will start with Primitive Mold. Middle Imps. Thank you for the reminder. I'll put the Middle Imp here. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Now the Sludge is going to get a ton. I need to heal the Sludge, is the thing. But Oh, okay, I should play this on one of these two. Um, so they're going to get some more Burnout stacks. I feel like I just want this one to have more Burnout. And that'll kill this room. Oh, this armor is a little bit of armor. Let's play another one here. Yes, rage. And I want to fortify. Um, oh, there's a lot of fortified targets I need to pick. I'll give it to the rail beater. Okay. Thank you for the help, Eoset. Eosets. Okay, a little respite. Ooh. Transcend <laughs> repeat all summon effects triggered so far. So this is not a great time for me to have drawn transcendent, but I might get it again in two turns. So I, do I, I don't want to really waste it now, um, but I could get it back. I don't know. I don't even know. Um, I want to throw away some imps in this room. Cool. Sludge is so set up. Uh, then what do I even do? I just play down Primitive Mold because, yeah, I want to... That's really good. Primitive Mold. And I'm going to play this Engulfed in Smoke probably next turn. Um, is this good to play in here now? I think it's fine, right? Let's just do it. 
Okay, uh, draft definitely goes in here. And I think I'll just put this in here to kind of, I don't know, tank some damage. The three room strategy is online though. This room's a little bit odd, but the middle room is sweet and this room is great. Um, all right, let's see what we could do. So we got to save two energy for engulfed in smoke. Oh, demon of fiend. <laughs> That's tempting. Um, let's just fortify. This seems fine. Fortify her. Wicklash, I should probably play. And I have a free primitive mold. Let's play that. I should have done that first. Oh. Okay, I have nowhere to play this draft. If I played up top, the burnout's going to die down before it does anything. And I can't play here. Maybe that's okay. Because then I can reform it. And it will be even better. Okay, it's weird, but it's long-term investment. Um, let's do Engulfed in Smoke. That did not change the math as much as I thought it would. <laughs> I feel like the math didn't change at all. Okay, Wicklash. Um... This has more burnout, so it might last longer. Okay. Oh, we've taken off half the health on the boss. And if I took those spikes, then this battle would be way different if Little Fade was down here, right? Because these ones in the back would die instantly. A golf will burn out drafts. Wait, what? Did I miss something on Engulf and Flame? Apply stealth two to friendly units. Engulf for Sludge, I say. Oh, I could have done that. Um, 84 damage, which is not enough. Let's get our free Primitive Mold. Ooh. I like that. That's pretty good. Uh, I should have done Transcend him. <laughs> um, the problem now is that I should have played Welder. I should not have just uh, snapped down this draft right away because I only have units to play. <laughs> that was not good. Um, sure, let's put Wicklash on this. <laughs> I think we're still going to get it, right? Because, yeah, we're fine. Uh, everyone needs to just cool out, right? A sludge gets one hit in. <laughs> the draft got four hits in, though, so that was fine. I'm not playing optimally, but I'm also not playing suboptimally. So, uh, and let's engulf and smoke, and let's primitive mold, and let's primitive mold. Beautiful. All right. Remember what I was saying about not just playing down cards if you know you're gonna win. Let's let's listen to my advice. That rail beater just did. That was great. Sorry, I've been playing this thing since launch, so the best practice drill. No, I appreciate it. Um, I I work on the game much more than I play it, so I don't have all the best strategies. All right, we got a lot of money from that, which is cool. Ah, uh, ooh, that's a fun card. This kind of synergizes with our strategy to some degree. We don't want Big Sludge to get killed, though. <laughs> this is really good for our strategy. Sacred Wicks, I feel like we don't need, but at the same time, we're densifying, so it could be good just to have another source. I feel like we don't need it, but what do you all think? What card should I pick? Let me know, quick. I think this is a fun pick, but also, like, screws with us a lot. Uh, this pick is, I think, fits with our deck pretty well. But a very, with Sludge is good, I agree. You just throw it to the sludge, right? I got one vote for crush and one for vote very. Okay, I think Eosets is changing votes, so we'll go with vote very. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This one, what do we think? Um, this one would be pretty good for us. <laughs> so this is a new keyword in the game attuned a bunch of uh, spells that do damage got attuned which is multiply the effects of magic power by five so if you put magic power 10 on this instead of just getting 10 extra damage you'll get 50 extra damage um impressive i'm i'm leaning toward impre impressive too i feel like we have enough imps we don't need pyre chomper we have enough energy uh i feel like impressive is the way to go i'm gonna pick it
All right. We also need to get rid of imps. Yeah, we kind of have a lot of imps that we can afford to sacrifice. Again, I don't need the pyre health because we're just stumbling our way through this game. Um, so I'll probably... Well, I like the artifacts and money. I'm going to go this way. Let's get money. Let's go into the caverns. There was one cavern event super early on in the game that was actually bad for you. It just, like, did something bad. And there was no just leave option. So I was always worried. That's still kind of ingrained in my brain to some extent. I'd be like, should I go in the cavern? So Hearthstone, upgrading it with plus 25. When your pyre kills a unit, restore 5 pyre health. Friendly units get plus 10 and Heartless. Ooh! That's really good for us. Because Heartless means they can't be healed. But we have no way to heal anything, right? We're not going to pick up any healing cards. We have armor, which is fine. Yeah, this is just all upside. No way that'll backfire on us. Uh, and let's go buy some trinkets. Uh, get five on a tomb. We don't have any tombs, I don't think. There's two tomb things that we don't actually have. That happens, though. Like, we, we struggle with adding artifacts like this. They're, they're super fun when you have, like, a tomb deck that, or, like, burnout. There might be burnout artifacts that interact with burnout if you don't have any burnouts. Like, what do I... But, um... They're fun when you have them, right? But sometimes you get, like, two of them that aren't relevant, and you're like, oh, that's a bummer. But it happens. Card games. Rail harm. Grant plus four sex armor each time is applied to friendly names. That is very good for us, and it's cheaper than the other two. So we're going to buy that one. And we're not going to reroll because we can't afford, look at the cost of these. We can't afford it anymore, so we're going to save our money. Just leave. And on to the next battle. Non-boss enemy units enter with spikes for... This one is really attempting to take because artifacts are very good. And we got the plus 10, like our imps and whatnot. But spikes four, it kills imps, but they have plus 10 imps, right? So we actually need imps to die. This this might, this petrified heart might go counter to our, some of our strategies in hindsight. <laughs> the spikes kill imps, which is good. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm going to take it on your advice. Um, that looks threatening. Okay. Little fade we can put down as a sacrifice. Um, does Rail, bite, Rail Beater actually only have 29 armor? That doesn't seem right, right? Rail Beater has 30 armor. Not to like try and do debugging right on the fly here, but this doesn't seem right, right? Rail Beater, oh, armor 25. That makes sense now, because I forgot I just picked up the rail harm. 25 plus 4 equals 29. Okay, the math checks out. Uh, what am I going to do here? Uh, little Fade can die. That's fine. Rail Beater. So Rail Beater, we don't really... little Rail Beater and Little Fade maybe go together, we think. So that's that's the bottom room. Um, I kind of want Little Fade to die, so I'm not going to interact with that too much. When these die, they get more health. So I kind of want to just kill these two if I can. Um, I could just play the Imp. If I play the Imp, they'll get some more... That's fine. I think this is good. I think this is good. Dead. Oh, Little Fate doesn't die now. See, the map is just screwy in this game, right? It'll screw with you when you just play a card and everything switches on you. <laughs> Alright, um, by the way, making it so that cards like this say apply armor 24 and it updates based on effects like Railhammer, I personally spent dozens and dozens of hours making that work in all the various cases in the game. And I don't know why this became my responsibility, but all of a sudden it was. Um, was a very uh, annoying thing to do. But <laughs> I spent so much time on this on this sort of thing in the game. There's a lot of cases where like card text updates dynamically in the game. And uh, yeah, it, it's just a pain. <laughs> I'm glad people like it because... All right, uh, I'm just gonna end turn because I don't I don't know what else I want to do here. Um, 
Yeah, I knew it was the right thing to do when a friend of mine played the game for the first time, and he was telling me, thank God I don't have to do any math in this game, because I don't like doing math. Uh, big sludge, ready to go. I think I'm going to put the sludge here. Uh, I want to throw away an imp to it, but... a oh, little fade's going to die, which is good. So I'm going to keep the little fade in front. I'm gonna, there's a lot of people just to chew through here in this room. So I'm going to put the queen's impling down, just to do some damage. Oh my god. Um... Yeah, this is all fine, though. I'm satisfied with that result. Uh, Big Sludge goes down here. Also, go get us some 75 coins. And oh, Lady the Reformed room goes up top. I probably want to get that room going. That's an investment of the room. It's going to be... That room might be tough because she gets burnout on... So I have to play... Sorry, I'm talking faster than... Uh, I'll have to play Wickless... What's it called? Recruitment. Wicklash on her to keep her alive. I do that. This guy I'll have to deal with, but that's fine. Okay, so yeah, we don't want this to pass up. We still have 15, that's three turns we have to get through in our drop pile before she has a chance at coming back. So it could be like six turns before we see her again. We just need to get her moving. Uh, I'm gonna put armor nine on this guy. This was a good pick of this rail hammer. Plus four stacks of armor, are you kidding me? This is another little fun fact about the game I've been wanting to share. I see other people stream, and there's a quote. This might have been shared at some point, but let's look at Melting Remnant units. Um, Lady the House. So let me just search, right? Lady. So you'll see a lot of units in this game, and I hopefully this isn't like a big secret I'm giving up. I don't think it is. You'll see a lot of units in this game that kind of have similar artwork, like Lady the House, Lady the Reformed. There's a reason for this. A long time ago, like a year ago, that's a long time ago in, in the development cycle of Monster Train, um, there used to be these units that were special units. I think they were called chosen units. Um, and the way they worked, you would start off with maybe Lady the Reform would be the base one. And then there was a special node you went to in the map that its only purpose was to upgrade these units. So you would upgrade this unit and she would turn into this artwork, and she would gain new abilities on that. So similar to how the champions are upgraded right now in Monster Train, um, there was also these special set of unit cards that worked the same way. Um, we eventually decided that mechanic didn't wasn't fitting the game quite, quite right, and uh, so the benefit was we got a bunch of new unit artwork we were able to use. But you have these units that kind of have similar artwork, and that's the reason for it. Um, I think it's a cool like thing just in terms of the history of the game and how the development went. Uh, yeah, it's also cool how they, they, they always, like, the way that they were tuned, which Andrew, the creative director, did this, the way they were tuned is, uh, they kind of are similar to each other, but also distinct. They just, they, they clearly fit into an archetype, but, um, I'll tell you if another one pops up. You, you'll see them just going through the logbook if you look for, there's, they're always similar, you know? All right. Oh, Demon Fiend would be nice to get down, but that's our whole turn, and we have a little fade. This Demon Fiend, in hindsight, I think was a mistake pick this was one i think i chose not the stream <laughs> because it would be nice to play but we just never have the time like big sludge is gonna take a rail beater is gonna just get crushed here um oh we can't play this right now we don't have an imp in play that's unfortunate we need to add more imps to this deck it needs to happen uh, i'm gonna put little fade down here she'll help out uh, I'm worried about this guy losing so much armor here. Uh, what else do I want to do? I want to throw. I want to throw away an imp here, but I can't. I could throw away a draft here. This this is good. This is a good play. Yes, I've convinced myself that's a good play. Um, why does he take four health? Oh, from the spikes four. Okay, uh, and then I'll put more armor on this one. Which almost negates all the attack it's going to take, and I can't do anything else. I don't have a target to play this on. So that is that. I could also tell you all about, like, the. Uh, this is another thing that's been said a few times, but maybe not everyone's heard it here. How this game started out. Um, I like to do a stream sometime, actually, or just go back and play some of the old builds of the game. 
So I'll try and ex talk about it as I'm playing here, just to not slow things down to a crawl. The idea was to put this one here. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll get a free draw. Trigger the big sludge. Um, I will get to that story, but now I'm like really engrossed in this turn. Uh, the idea is to play this one here, which I think is still worth doing. Is this is this a problem for us? This seems like a problem. Maybe I should do something about this. Also, she's she's about to just go away, oh, which is bad. Okay, the draft can go here. Perfect, perfect. I'm okay with her taking some damage. Um, I feel like yeah, the sludge goes here. Ooh. Very good. <laughs> that was, I might play Engulfed in Smoke right now, because I think I want to do that more than I want to put... Oh, I can do both. Uh, let's put down the Train Steward down here, just to just to take some damage. Because we could also reform it later, then the Train Steward actually turns out to be a good card. Um, okay, where am I going to take the most damage? This is tempting to put up here. No, I need her to take damage, or they all die to burnout. So that is a bad play. I just caught it. Engulfed in Smoke down here. All right. So the way the game started... Um, we started it started making it as a real-time game so it still had the tower concept it was much more generic theme it didn't have a hell theme just like a tower in a medieval setting with knights and monsters and all that you were the monsters the idea was like the tower would actually fly around for some reason you're like the wizard in the tower the tower would fly around from town to town plant itself in the town and then the knights would come in and attack your tower from the bottom just like it works now and they'd climb up but it all happened in real, there weren't turns. So the way it worked, you would just draw cards every, let's say five seconds, you would draw a card. There's a little counter that goes right here. Five, four, three, two, draw a card. And then every, however, maybe three seconds, you gain an energy. So, um, and then it kind of worked similar where you had Ember, you know, it was just energy at the time. And you would play the cards, uh, kind of like if anybody's played, is it called Clash Royale, the card game on mobile? That was somewhat of an inspiration originally. Um, it didn't, it, you know, it was it was still this structure, though, where you'd play units down, but they would attack. It just, a fit, like, every two seconds, there would be an attack round. It wasn't like a turn. Um, and then there were some cards that you'd play down, like, up at the top that would give you more energy at a faster rate and give you more cards at a faster rate. And it still had, it wasn't a pyre. It was just, like, a treasure chest. So the knights were trying to come in and steal your treasure. And then we didn't know what to do once they stole treasure. There wasn't, like, the relentless idea. So they would just hop out the window. We literally had a little window on the side of the train. And the knights would just jump out the window, and then we had them come right back in. It didn't make sense. <laughs> that's what we did. Uh, that's how it started off, as the prototype. And we eventually switched it from a real-time game to turn-based, and then slowly over time it evolved into this game. Um, what am I doing in this game? I feel like I want to play primitive... Where did the train idea origin shift from? Um, I don't remember like whose idea it was. There was a lot of theme ideas going around at the time. Um, I do remember we had a bunch of ideas we were thrown out for the the theme, the setting, and, and partly um, I think it was somewhat based off of there was a couple movies that come to mind. There's that why can't I think of it? There's the train movie based on the French comic that someone's gonna say in chat where they the poor people at the back of the train have to get to the front of the train. Um, there was that one. Also, the movie that is now completely forgot, forgettable, I think it's called Mortal Engines. That movie was just about to come out. Snowpiercer. Thank you, Kevin. Snowpiercer was somewhat of an inspiration. Uh, I think just thematically or something. It was in in the minds of some people. Yeah, and then also that movie Mortal Engine, which is much more similar to this, if you think about it, had ju was just coming out, and we were that was on our mind. I don't know. None of us had even seen it yet, I don't think. Um, let's do this. And it started off not in hell, but in like Victorian London. So kind of like our our friend Little Fade here. It started off in kind of a Victorian London setting. There was even a map. There's a build where you're, it's the map of England, and you're starting off in the north. And the, there's a whole map and nodes, more like Slay the Spire nodes with the map. But it was like a map of not a map, but it was like an over top down view of England. Um, and you would you'd pick these nodes, and the train would travel through England down to London. And London would have been the final battle. So we had a build for a long time that you were kind of playing on top of London. Um, I don't quite remember the whole theme of that. This one's fun here. Oh, that was good. I didn't even think about how, well, all that was going to happen there because of that. So that, that problem's taken care of. There's nothing going on here. Okay, I need to Wicklash up here. Um, so she has two more burnout. This one's about to die. Let's try and save this one, right? Or do I need to actually save her? Mm. 
<laughs> I don't know. Let's just... I think I need to protect her. Yeah, she needs more burnout. Because the drafts I can lose. The drafts will come back. Um, what do I do with these? Uh, I don't really need to play them. Uh, I think I save them. And then I... Am I going to get more primitive molds? Maybe. There's a good chance I'll draw a primitive mold. Um, I'm thinking about throwing away this one just so I can get it back. If I do that, I should put it in this room. Yeah, this is a good play. Because it'll, it'll give Sludge a little bit more power. Okay, I think I'm done. Shadow Mar X says, going to the center of London and the center of hell is kind of the same experience. I've never been to England, so I can't really say. Uh, Transcend Imp. Uh, it feels like that's a lot of things are going to happen when I play that, so I should probably do that. Um, I should maybe get another summon effect before I do, like, put the Welder Helper down here, and then I get extra Welder Helper when I play it in this room. Uh, seems good. Jeez, this one has Sweep. Yeah. Sweep and Lifesteal. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is not good. Uh, I kind of want to just do a Hail Mail Transcend Dip down here and see what happens. So I'll put... Um, I'll send this one off. Give armor to this one or to myself. Does it matter? This one's about to die. Right from Burnout. So I should just play it in front. Okay. Means I put Transcend Dip in front? Play the Fledgling Imp on top. Um... Yeah, just to get the extra trigger? Probably. Why not? This is going to do a lot, I think. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it actually only does a little bit less than 100 damage to the champ. But it kills out the front unit. Um, also, this whole preview system was a lot of work to put in this game. That was almost entirely Muhammad, but another developer on the team. Uh, but Muhammad spent uh, many, many, many hours making that work correctly. <laughs> Alright, not as exciting as I thought. Oh, cool. And this thing gets 37 health because of lifesteal. So, great. Um, draft, I'd love to play in here just to get another trigger on Big Sludge. But not going to happen. So, I don't think it's worth playing it, probably. Actually, it might play just to improve the chances of pulling a draft when we play Primitive Malt, which is going to come up... I want to be optimistic, say, three cards next turn. Let's do it. Isn't Melting Remnant weird, where you, like, throw away units because it's good? Oh, that's Lifesteal. What's important with this one is we just get a lot of rounds of combat in to drain the Lifesteal, which it looks like we did. We drained all the Lifesteal, so... And we're going to take almost half damage here. Um... <clears throat> All right, Little Fade's back. I, oh, I could play her. I thought her capacity was higher. Oh, Little Fade's going to just crush this. So that's the play. Yeah, don't sweat it. No, that's not it? Okay, Primitive Mold's not really relevant. Oh, but I want to get back the drafts. Um, let's... This will give us another hit. Maybe that'll make a difference? Not really. Uh, Wicklash doesn't really do much here. So yeah, let's Primitive Mold. Get back... Oh yeah, Rail Beater. Uh, that doesn't do a whole lot for us right now. Primitive Mold. Oh, there's eight units there. We just had a ton die. <laughs> I got transcended. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Is Transcend Up worth playing here? It's going to do a lot of damage, is what most of our imps do. Um, and put armor on something that is... I could put a bunch of armor on this Queen's Implant. <laughs> I guess it's worth doing. Yeah, and then it'll burn out. Okay, it did a bunch of armor. Um, rail beater, should I? No, it's guys burn out, so it doesn't matter, right? And I don't really want the. Okay, I'm just gonna turn. There'll be a lot of decisions this game. Sometimes you just have to be like, end turn. Votavari finally gave us a card draw. Alright. Um, 50. Oh, we're so close. We should be able to do this. The problem I have here is that she's just going to burn out. Little Fade. <laughs> Little Fade's back. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> uh, little fade solves the problem. Okay. Cool. So we. That's it's good. Not great. I mean, it it, it you know more armor is great. So now we have plus thirteen. Sure. I'll take it. What do we want here? Another Votaveri is sounds fine to me. This is out also kind of sounding pretty good to me now, just again, because we're densifying. We only have three primitive molds in the deck. Out of how many cards? Out of 25. So our chances of drawing one is getting smaller and smaller, and a lot of our strategy depends on these primitive molds. So I'm kind of thinking, although getting more drafts is always fun too. <laughs> As we densify, we need more drafts, right? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, no one's saying anything. So I think I'm going to take Sacred Wix. Uh, I kind of, I feel like Rage Storm is pretty good. It, it, it gets out of your deck after the first play, and Rage is always good. Moving into front play, armor 14. See, we have some armor in the deck. Um, we still have the starter cards. Fortify gives armor. We have we have this rail hammer. And we might get a card later. Um, I'm forgetting the name of it. It's the one that like does a bunch of damage based on the armor you have. So, but this gives us more armor at the cost of... I think this is better, right? It's two cost. It's a real decision here. I don't know. Um, we'll get this one. We'll lower the cost of it. That is what we'll do. Oh, Braining Right for Lady activates Revenge Trigger. Great call. That's what I took, right? I'm pretty sure I took that one. Braining Right, yes. That is what we will do. That is the plan. Um, oh, I didn't even realize I took Pyre Health damage. When did that happen? Uh, Rage is good. Rage is just generally good, right? Um, so the perfectionist me wants me to restore my pyre health, but that's not actually what's important here. So I think I go for Merchant Magic to get that upgrade I said I should get. And we're going into Fell next. See what the caverns give us. Uh, playing a Blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. Um, when summon front units gain plus one for every Blight. Uh, when you play your first Blight card, you should restore five pyre health. Mm, I feel like we can deal with this. Ember Stasis? None. <laughs> Probably, but is that fun? I feel like this is a little more fun. Trying to deal with Calcified Ember. Also, at the end of this battle, we could go for... Should we go for another? I feel like we should go for more capacity after this battle. Um, so you're probably right. This one always seems so much fun to me. Ember Stasis. 100 damage for 3 Ember. That's good, right? That's a good exchange. I'm taking this. Let's be optimistic. Uh, and Merchant Magic. Uh, oh, another Permafrost thing. Let's... Branding right. You're telling me 3 Ember for 100 damage is not good? Maybe not in the Super late game. But it has to be now, right? And I'm going to get rid of those out of my deck. So uh, Let's remove... I think I still have... Yes, I still have a train steward we could get rid of. Um, what's worth doing? I don't think I have any magic... Oh, I do have magic. This is not a good magic power thing for us. So. <laughs> this is pretty good, though. So this is the new attune thing. I think this is the play. Because, uh, right, it's... Plus 10 magic power should be 60, but with attuned, multiplied by 5, 10 times 5 is 50, so it's 50 to 100 damage. That's pretty good. That's 100 damage for just one ember. That, even Eosets has to agree, is a good thing. Uh, this one I don't think I want. Oh, wait a second. Right? Impressive gains permafrost, so it just holds in her hand until the, the timing lines up. Yeah, I think so. 100 damage for one ember. Yeah, that's good. I know you're saying for three is not good. I understand that. I think it'll be fine. I think we'll kill Fell due to those uh, 300 damage we're going to put out. 
So there are new bosses in the Friends and Foes update of Monster Train. This is not one of them. Um, and unfortunately, Seraph the Temperament is not one of them. <laughs> but the first one was. The first boss we, we played was one of the new ones. Um, all right, so this one just has multi-strike and these guardians have spell shield. So that's fine, we don't have a lot of, the only spell damage we have is, um, we only have one card that we just upgraded, which is impressive, right? So that's not a problem, that doesn't do anything to us. But having them have armor is not great for us. So I wanna throw a little fade down. Maybe I'll just put down the demon fiend. Ooh, or I could do calcified ember. Wait, this is not spell damage because it's coming through the artifacts, so this should work. Um, I think I'm just going to throw away Calcified Ember to clear out this Guardian? Yeah. See? That was cool. It, it seemed fun. I don't know if it was good, but it seemed fun. Uh, I'll put that in Little Fade. It's actually not going to die, but she will start to die. Um, and then I'll put down this Draft. So, yeah, we're clearing out the bottom. That's great. I hate Talos with a passion, but the Dark Shard one is really fun. Yeah, those shards are new. Uh, we've been talking about doing traps in the game for a long time. We had traps implemented a long, long time ago. Like this idea of these passive things in the room that you can't really interact with. Um, I think, did we implement it at one point? It was like a special type of unit or something. I can't really remember the history of traps, but... They finally were put in the game with this update, and they're called shards. And the other um, boss at this level spawns these shards. That, like, one of them is when you play a spell, all the other spells in your hand gain plus one ember. So it's bad stuff for the player. And you can't interact with the traps. They're just there, and then they go away after a turn. So it just modifies how you play in a room. Sludge and put the small units in front. So... Little Fade's dying here, which is fine. That's kind of what we want. Let's make the middle room sludge. Yeah, set up sludge. And put the small units in front, I say. I agree. I like it. Um, I kind of want to play Rail Beater. Maybe I'll put Rail Beater down here. So uh, I'll put Queen's Implant. I kind of want Votaveri to die first, because we actually get a card draw from that, which is good. Uh, so let's put this here. I don't need Wake Lash yet, and that's good. So starting to charge up Little Fade. I kind of want to charge up Little Fade to 4 cost, which we could afford to drop. Because uh, she'll have like 200 damage or something. <laughs> um, Lady the Reformed. Uh, so Lady the Reformed room has to be on the bottom. Lady the Reformed Giraffe. Uh, I think I can start setting this up. What's your favorite Melting Remnant unit? Oh, I think I have to go with Legion of Wax, right? <laughs> yeah, Eoset says Legion. Legion of Wax. <laughs> this unit. So this this unit has a storied history in the game. Um, this unit was one that it, I think I, I could be misremembered, but I think I put in the game originally. Just like an obvious unit. A lot of the games have like a splitting unit, right? It's usually an enemy. Like you attack it and it splits into two smaller units and those split into two smaller units. Like other games have this, this type of effect. Um, this one eventually got this like upgrade where the this upgrades on this unit and the stats apply to the copies that are summoned, so you can do all sorts of crazy strategies with it. Um, this card, we spent more time in collectively than any other card in the game, um, and mostly that's just because there are so many bugs exposed because of this card. <laughs> so again, Muhammad, another developer on the team, probably spent. I don't know. I don't know if I'm exaggerating by saying 100 hours on this card alone. <laughs> um, so I got to say Legion of Wax. And we haven't seen it yet in this run. Uh, hopefully it comes up. I'll, I'll snap pick it. I won't even look at other cards. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun one. All right. So we put Draft down behind Lady the Reformed because she powers up the drafts. I don't know if this strategy is really working for us, but we're going to keep trying it. Oh, look at this. Synergy. Oh, I'm forgetting that this is getting encant triggers for armor, but whatever. Um, Legion Wax is also one of my favorites to play with, though. Yeah, there were times where, you know, there were so many bugs with Legion of Wax. We were, there was talk of cutting it, and I think there was enough of us on the team that were just like, no, you got to have faith in this card. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> it was a pain. Um, what do I want to do here? I kind of want to put Little Fade down. I'll put Little Fade down in front because... I'm a, I kind of want her to die at least one more time. 
Um, yeah, they're not doing enough damage output, these ones. I just... Okay, I'm getting through the Guardian, at least. Um, but this... This, this is going to be a big problem for my top room. Um, so what I might do... I might throw down the Queen's Implant here, just because I need to chew through this Guardian as fast as possible. Right? I'll just do it. Sometimes you just need to do damage, you know, you just need damage output. But I do love drafts a lot. Drafts are... It's just... There's something really simple about this design. I mean, it got a little bit more complicated as the game went on, but just this idea of like, a, that this is how um, originally when the Melting Remnant were designed, their starting card, this is a good little bit of history, their starting card in the original was actually Primitive Molt. I don't remember if it was random or not, but it was it was a Molded or Primitive Molt, was their original starter card. It wasn't Dregs. You'd start with Primitive Molt, and the idea would be you draft... There's a lot more cards like Dregs and Drafts in the original set that was designed. So there's a lot more like... The original Dreg just had Burnout 1 and was weaker than where it ended up being. Everything in the game started off weaker and then kind of as the curve evolved, it got higher up in power level. Um, and so the idea was you draft a bunch of Dregs and draft-like units. There was probably five or six of them total, whereas now there's just really the two of them, right? And then uh, you would you would want them to die, and you'd bring them back. Uh, also, the original reform didn't actually give them a stat boost. It just brought you brought them back to hand. And then there was other things that triggered, like when you spawned a unit and whatnot. So it's all about playing with that recursion. Um, okay, this is my challenge room. I don't know if there's much I could do about that. This is this is solved. This is largely solved. I'm not so worried about this. Although I'm not excited about her taking. Oh wait, maybe I can solve this with calcified ember. <laughs> I feel like I just want to play it, uh, just to prove a point. Um, oh! Oh! Wait a second. Okay. We're going to solve this with Calcified Ember and Impressive. I think we're going to do Calcified Ember to kill this one. Wait. Yes, because this has Spell Shield. Yes, don't overthink this, Brian. Just play. Okay. Beautiful. And then we'll kill this one, and I think the problem's solved. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Are you serious? That is such a bummer. This thing's gonna get through to do six damage to our shard, our pyre, because it has two health left. Whatever. I don't even care about that. Um let's let's just split the diff here. We'll go armor nine, armor nine, and call it a turn. Yes, I feel like I'm being spited. <laughs> So it's so far it's been it's been fine. I, that turn I don't think that turn could have been better than what I just did, right? All I had was another Queen's Implane to put energy into. So I, I might be getting a little lucky on some cases. Like I don't know if I'll this actually seems pretty good. Calcified Ember to kill this guy and just do damage output to It seems pretty good. Uh oh, we were gonna play this bringing right on Lady the Reformed, which seems good. And what can I bring back? Uh, just a Queen's Implant. So I don't need to play that. I want to play this. So do I play either of these two? This one could hold in hand, then all we have is Fledgling. I'm sorry, but I gotta play another Calcified Ember. Right, do I play it here? No, they're gonna die, and yeah, this is fine. I'm gonna play it here. Yes! Oh, it's not actually dead! <laughs> Dang it! All right, I'm gonna do this strategy. Yeah, more Burnout. All right. That's cool, a class energy, right? Where you have uh, Branding Wright is like super synergizing with Lady the Reformed, and they're not in the same class. It's just kind of we lucked into that. Okay, Little Fade. We c if Little Fade dies one more time, we'd be okay with that. Engulf is never on bottom. I'll engulf on bottom when we go into Relentless. Surely, this this strategy is not really doing much. This top floor, but I'm happy with this. Um, Okay, I could put drafts up here, just to get more triggers from the big sludge and to uh, make it so we can. Ooh. Oh. Okay, we need to we need to figure out how to get permafrost on the sacred wicks, right? Revenge triggers need to happen on the lady. Yeah. Okay. No, you're you're right. But as long as we have enough burnout, then we don't we could we could go a couple rounds with. But now you 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 have a good point in general. Um. All right. What am I doing here? 
I just need to do damage on the bottom. I can put a draft up here. So yeah, let's throw, oh, I can't fit it. Let's put this draft here. <laughs> yes, look at this room. <laughs> this room is great. <laughs> and I'll put this draft here just to die. It sounds cruel. Oh, I should put a little fade down. Um, I should play her just... She's still good. I mean, this is all going to work out. Let's not, let's not stress about this, right? We got extra burnout. Look at that. Oh, they didn't actually get a, a, a hit on... Uh, what is this? Fell. Fell, right. Okay, well, Brainy right, this one. Um, this seems good. Primitive Mold. It feels good to play a card for zero. It's just like, get it out of the hand, play it, whatever. Um, well, I usually play this one here. Yeah, this is good. It'll just die, but there's just something better we could do. Uh, let's do this. This I know I want to do. Okay, cool. That, that guy's dead. Um, losing a little bit of armor for it, but we can fortify. Yeah, let's fortify. I like this room. This room is turning, like, I'm very pleased with this. So we're going to keep that going. Um, primitive Mull to bring back a draft, which is, I like that. We have plenty of armor. We're not going to do Engulf and Smoke, so we have energy for this. Okay, draft is back. Let's throw it up top, I think, just to do damage output on Fell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we'll throw this here just to get another trigger on Big Sludge, which I know everyone likes. Uh, play both imps, trans, and next hand. Okay. Um, I'll do this just to get more damage output. And we might draw, where is it? Impressive. It's good to have imps just hanging out in rooms. Now we have impressive. Damage. Okay. God, this was such a mistake, this Demon Fiend. <laughs> Sacred Wix. Uh, oh, impressive. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage here, at least. But So this is where I might do Engulfed in Smoke, right? Because, yeah, I think it's going to work out. Because this, this will go down to Burnout 1. Then she'll get hit, giving this Burnout. And it's going to work out. It's going to be fine. Uh, Transcend Imp, I can't play here, which is where I want to play it. I'm going to do Engulfed in Smoke. Is there sequencing? No. And he's dead. So let's just end turn. It's fun to watch. Don't even totally understand what's going on right now, but it's fun to watch. <laughs> the lady in her drafts. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever fell. Oh, wow, they're getting chewed through, huh? Look at that burnout holding out, though. There we go. Yeah, the little draft got it. <laughs> More space next. Yes, I agree. What do we want for the rare, though? Intent on death. Trigger an extinguished unit without killing it. Is that... Ooh. It's pretty good on Little Fade. It accelerates Little Fade, but it's too ember to play that. Is, do we have any other extinguish? I'm probably forgetting some here that we have. Maybe we don't. Uh, Votivary, I guess, has extinguish. Um, that's not good enough. Sacrificial resurrection. Consume cards in hand. Add a draft unit chain and plot list. <laughs> I think I've got to do that, right? <laughs> I don't think I've ever built a draft deck, but I'm loving it. Reduce the cost and hold over for intent on death. Yeah, the cool thing about Intent on Death and Little Fate is you actually don't pay the plus one cost for it. So if you get that, if you get Holdover and minus one energy, you can just go infinite on Little Fate. <laughs> we got to try that, right? Draft builds. Yeah, this is a fun draft build. We have a lot of, we have a few different builds going. We have like Big Slug Synergy and Little Draft. But I like the idea of this. I like Eoset's idea. Uh, and can make fade big without pain. Yeah, so we're going intent on death. We just remind me to actually make that happen. Plus one capacity on each floor. Yes. All right, so I got to go to spell spell power merchant, um, which is not here. So uh, I probably go to the left. Duplicate a card seems like it'd be useful. 
Um, well, yeah, what else do I do? I could get another artifact, and it'd be good to upgrade my units. I don't have a lot of money, though. So money on this side is going to... Yeah, I think I go left. Pick up the money. Uh, let's upgrade the champion. Probably just going to go, yeah, down a little fade path some more. <laughs> Oh, uh, this one you get, but this one applies burnout, which we don't want. So, yeah, we're going to keep on Eternal Frame Flame 3. Update is out. Update was out at 10 a.m. this morning. We're playing it right now. We're doing uh, Exile of Melting Remnant and Hellhorn, which means we have Little Fade, which is going to get super strong every time we extinguish it. Um... We also have Primitive Mold, Reform Random Units, and we have Queen's Implants. So a lot of good synergy here, because you throw away the Implants and bring them back with Mold. Stronger, better, faster, stronger. Um, 720 damage fade. Can you figure out the upper limits of what we could possibly achieve with Little Fade now? Um, enhance unit. Upgrading unit with plus 20, plus 20, and add Purge. Ooh. Increase magic power by 20, add Purge. Reduce... Okay, I feel like Monster Rail Spike we can do something with. Um, maybe I'll just put on a Demon Fiend so we can get it out of our deck. <laughs> Feels like there's a cheaper way to do, deal with get rid of Demon Fiend. I probably should get rid of Demon Fiend, right? It was just a mistake. <laughs> I don't think I want to get rid of the Queen's Implants. I kind of like them in this build right now. Um, so do I skip? I think I put it on Demon Fiend. <laughs> Yeah, Eosets confirms it's it's the right play. You put it on Demon Fiend. <laughs> Just to get rid of it. Yeah, ditch him for sure. <laughs> I appreciate that, Kowalski. Uh, and Duplicate. This is a fun one. Um... It's tough not just to pick a... I feel like we have too many drafts, maybe, though. <laughs> Impressive could be good. Just getting a copy of an imp, like the welder imp, would probably be good. Um, what else do we want? Sacred Wicks, we definitely don't need another copy of. Branding Right is not bad. I agree. Branding Right would be a fine choice. Um, I don't know. I can be persuaded here. Uh, Branding Right just for more and more armor. I feel like I just want another imp, right? Yeah, because we got more. We got more space in the train now. We just got a ton more space, so we just need more imps. Um, and we have so many units in play that I feel like the highest value imp might be fledgling. Did intent on death's cost go up? I don't know. Does anyone know? Did this used to cost just one? Um, welder helper. All right, I'll do welder helper. Let's do it. Duplicate. All right, we're good to go. I think I'm streaming for another half an hour, so I should be able to finish this run. Um, Non-boss enemy units restore our health when they move up. This one's tough to justify. Was zero cost before on the intent? I guess intent went up to two cost. So a lot of the balancing decisions are based off data. There's We're collecting a ton of data every time a game is played. Um, what cards you're playing, what cards you win with. Um, all sorts of stuff. And then uh, the creative director, Andrew, goes through and looks at all that data. So he might have noticed that Intent on Death had like an unusually high win rate uh, and just decided to balance. But Fade Necessity, that's a good point. So I was not involved with the balancing of this update basically at all. I did some early work on this update on the champions, the new champions to some extent, although um, other people did a lot more work on that. I've been working on some other stuff for Monster Train that is not in this for a little uh, hint hint. Um, what else were we saying? Intent was also uncommon as now rare. Yeah, so I guess you'd have to ask Andrew about the details of that. I'm not taking this trial. This seems like it's not gonna go well for us if we take this. Um, it's a lot of money. I don't know if I've ever taken that trial. It just seems so daunting. <laughs> like, if, if you get this guy down to one health, Gilded Wing, and then he goes up and restores all health, you just flip the table, right? A uh, little fade we throw away. Um, 
Oh, we have Big Sludge to set up. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to put Little Fade down front. Uh, so she'll get killed by this one. Uh, which means Lady the Form will get hit once, which is fine. And I put Big Sludge down in this room. Transcend Imp. I guess I could play it now and then bring it back later. Just to take a hit. But if I do that, one, two, three dead. I'm missing something. I'm not sure why she's taking 13 damage here. There's some detail. Oh, this extinguish trigger. Uh, sure, let's put this down. I think it's gonna work out fine. She's she's not getting hit. That's okay. Four hundred gold is so much money. You know, it costs you a chunk of pyre most of the time. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. I I don't know. If I, I don't think I was worried about us dying on this round. So maybe I should have just taken it. Um, speaking of money, let's recover some of that money, right? I should hmm, do a little fade up top. Probably Little Fate Up Top's a good place to go, because we're going to try and charge her up with Intent on Death, which we haven't drawn yet. So this feels like a good play. Little Fate Up there. Um, big Sludge. We need to put some units down in front of. Oh, here's Intent on Death. So I should play this, which means I only have one. That's fine. I only need to play Welder Helper, and I can play Sacred Wix. I think I will play Sacred Wix, just to get one Transcend Up down. It didn't even do anything yet. Um, all right, I'll intent. And that triggers twice, right? No, I'm thinking of this thing. Okay. So I just got it way stronger. 245. <laughs> For one capacity unit, she's not bad, right? <laughs> uh, I'll put Welder Helper down here. Oh, she's taking a lot of damage. But it is what it is. Okay. Lots of burnout, at least. I wish drafts were in that room. We cannot heal any of our units, um, so it's just armor. Okay, uh, this is fine. I'm okay with the result here, so I'm not going to worry about that. This is this could be better. Not excited about that room. Let's put this one down here. That's the strategy. Perfect. Um, and let's put down this one. What do I need to do with energy? The rail beater, I'm not super psyched to play, but we will. Um, I'll put this down here. Okay, that didn't really change anything. <laughs> a draft needs to go in the back. Oh, we need to fortify. I don't want to put the rail beater in front of her, but I feel like she's going to die if we don't start... And we don't have enough armor to really defend her, so I might throw a rail beater. Rail beater is going to die eventually, but that's okay. We can... That's fine. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's not a big deal but this this is gonna die because she's not taking damage to add burnout so this draft dies now burnout was a super early mechanic in melton remnant it was added pretty much right away it's one of the kind of central themes of the melton remnant was death and recursion okay impressive uh that feels like a pretty good play that'll kill this gilded wing then um, what can I do here? So I could do... Maybe I'll do Impressive on this room. Also, do I want to... I kind of want to save her. Or no, it's okay if she dies, because she'll only be two cost. So we cheated with the intent on death. Um, but regardless, I want to... Oh, wow, now that is just going to die. And these will get through. So do I Impressive here... And then she'll probably die, which is a good thing for us. Um, there's so many different plays you could do here. I don't know. I don't know what's right. Um, let's put this down, I guess. Uh. Three costs, Brian, next time Faye dies. Really? I thought she only died once. She oh, yeah, you're right, because it still gives her plus one cost. So we do want to try and keep her in play. We want to try and make it so she doesn't die. So let's do this. Let's return something. Oh, that seems cool. <laughs> that's, 
so stupid. <laughs> I like that transcend dip is a bit of a mystery. Like, it's not really exposed. You, you can write down on a piece of paper all your, uh, what is it, summon triggers. Um, it keeps track in the game what summon triggers you fired, but it's not, like, readily exposed. So it's a bit of a mystery what's going to actually happen when you summon transcend dip. And I think it's really fun. Um, okay, I'll armor up. Ooh. Will it matter if I put armor on this guy? It'll probably help, right? It helped. Um, draft in the back. And that's that. Oh, that draft's going to die right away. This Lady the Reform draft synergy is not easy to play. Transcend up is a meme. Yeah. <laughs> It's good though, right? Do people, I mean, do they, like, does the competitive monster chain community, how do they feel about Transcendent? Is it a serious card or is it a joke? Um, okay, Little Fade, I want to try and keep it alive. So I'll throw a Welder Helper in front of her, probably. I'm going to put a Draft down and Braining Right. Yes, this is really good. Got to make sure I don't accidentally kill her. Wicklash I could do behind. I could also reform would be really good. There's a lot of good plays here. But I think I want to try and defend her. So I'm going to put Welder Helper down. Perfect. Big Sludge is going to get powered up here. These two are dying. This is all good. Um, we're not doing a ton of damage here, but Little Fade could help clean up. So these ones in the back are kind of a problem. And then Primitive Mold or Wicklash. I think I have Primitive Mold because I have space for a draft. Draft. Oh, rail Beater's back. Um, that's fine. I'll put Rail Beater back in front. Yeah, and he has burnout, so he'll just die. That's great. He just tanks some damage and goes back to the bin. Hey, guys, just want to say great update. Just finished Hellhorn Remnant Run. Randomly reform imps from Hellhorn Champ. So much fun. Um, yeah, hey, we're doing the same thing right now. Hellhorn Remnant. We're doing Remnant Hellhorn, technically. Um, yeah, the most broken run I ever had was with three endless transcendents. <laughs> that sounds dumb. <laughs> All right, uh, I kind of want to solve this top room. Oh, there's nothing we can do about this, right? This draft is just going to die. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Um, I have another draft, which I think I can use up here effectively. Let's let's do a random... <laughs> Transcend dip is back. Okay, let's try and maximize the Transcend dip. I'm going to put the, this one down here. We like that. Uh, I'll put Fledgling Imp where? Probably here. Okay, any other summons? No, so I'm going to do Transcend Dip on top. <laughs> um, and then Draft cleans up that room. And I don't want to put the Draft here because it will just die right away. So yeah, we'll just put a Draft up here. I just want to try and take no damage. Okay, and then what else do I do? I throw this down here. I fortify her. She'll just burn out too. So this is sort of a problem... She'll get a bunch of damage this next turn. Okay. Um, gains one on revenge. So it gains one attack every time it's attacked. Okay, so I can do Brainian right here, which is good. Intent on death is really tempting. So let's see if I can make it all work. Uh, I think I'm going to do this because it's free and it's good timing. It's great timing. Sure. Uh, might just throw those in front here because I can't fit any more in this room. This is a solved problem. So yeah, these just go as like chump blockers. Great. Um, don't want to put the fiend down. Get the fiend out of my hand. <laughs> I think it's a good thing to do actually. Let's get the fiend out of the deck. We can afford. We can fit it in this room, and it will block. Um... Oh, she's gonna go away. The way I didn't think of this right. But yeah, let's just put the Fiend in the back. Fine. Fine. Get rid of the Fiend. The Fiend, it was, that was just a, a big screw-up. So now the Fiend is purged out of our deck, because we upgraded him. Gone. Um, oh, beautiful. Uh, so we're definitely going to do that. Uh, this doesn't really help us. We have a ton of armor, and we're probably going to do this just because why not? Um, no more space in this room, but we have space up top. So, oh, we're going to have some space, so I'm going to play Impressive. All right, so let's do Primitive Mold. Okay, let's get rid of... Does it matter? They're kind of the same right now, right? 
So let's get rid of the little one. Huh. Okay, let's throw a draft. Oh, this is this is the wrong draft. This has two capacity. Because we upgraded it. Uh okay. Uh I'll put armor on who? I don't just, I think I'm just gonna put armor on this guy. I feel like if, if we get one more hit with Little Fade because this blocks damage, we can't lose this, right? I don't think we can lose this. Let's put this. This might just win it for us right there. That's not doing as much as I thought. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I'll put this down in front of Little Fade. Okay. I guess this room just isn't doing that much damage. Is why Engulfed by Smoke isn't helping all that much. But we're getting a lot of rage build up on this one. Attack for 78. Okay. Uh, and we got the X, so I'm listening to my old advice, just end turn. Done. Alright, let's go quick now. I gotta go quick. Um, uh, I feel like, if anything, I, Votivary is pretty good, and then Sacred Wix is okay. I feel like we got enough of this going on right now, probably. Um, I'll pick another Votivary. So it gives you card draw, it replaces itself. It's not bad. Uh, apply Rage 4 and... Uh, I feel like I need to look at the map. So we do have a Merchant of Magic. And we, we don't have a ton of money, but we have some. And then we can lower the cost of this. And none. Yeah, Votivary is mainly because we have Big Sludge. So we're trying to power up Big Sludge using in those units. The thing that backfired on us a little bit is we got Petrified Heart. So they're, they have more lasting power than what we really wanted. But I think it's going to work out in the final battle. Um, so they kind of replace themselves. You put them down one capacity, they die, and then you could bring them back. And um, I think it's good. Ascend unit. Yeah, I'm just going to skip this one. It's too much to think about. I think we need to go for the magic upgrades, right? Because we want to get more intent on death. We want to try to get holdover on intent on death. So that's the plan. We'll do this. Move up to two cards. Uh, let's look at the artifacts we got. Your pirate gets plus 40. Spells get an extra slot. That's the one. Um, when a friend of you dies, gain add, it's got to be resin block. Resin block. Do I need to buy anything else? I don't have anything else I need to buy. Oh, no, I'm going to the, I'm going to the merchant, so... Yes, I should have gone here first. Resin is great here. Yes, I agree. Upgrade a spell to do holdover. And no, not that one. Intent on death. Upgrade a spell to cost minus one. <laughs> Where's intent on death? We did it. EO sets, we did it. Now we just need to draw it. Plus 10 magic power. No, not good. Um, I don't think I can afford any of those uh, artifacts. Let's just check. No, I can't. Um, Wait. So I go back here and I can't afford anything, so remove up to two cards. Um, I could be convinced to remove something, but I feel like this isn't doing a whole lot. Wicklash? It's not bad because we have the Lady of the Reformed draft strategy, but I don't know if it's good enough. Do we get rid of it? Get rid of Wicklash? We get rid of Wicklash. I don't know if we get rid of anything else, though. I feel like everything else is serving a purpose. I, I even like the Queen's Implants. We have a lot of space to put them out. I feel like they're good and transcendent. Um, I still am kind of like thinking these are worth keeping. I could lose because of that thought, but let's get rid of Wicklash and probably call it a day. Uh, we like these still. That's good. Fortify, I think, is good still. It's right, because we don't have any healing. I don't know. Maybe it's not good enough for the um, final fight, but let's go see it. I only have like 15 minutes to get through this fight, so let's do it. Um, check the... Maybe, I don't know if there's... Yeah, I do have to get off after this one, so... Okay, let's just get through it. So I'm not the fastest player at this game, as you could tell. Alright, so multi-strike three. Um, friendly units enter with sap, th so that's something to consider. Okay, little fade again. We just want to kind of kill immediately. Um, so little fade I put here, and she will kill this light wings. Um, maybe I could put, do something else up top. I can get the yes, I could get the draft strategy going up top. That's what to do. 
sap. Okay. So she'll... That's great. So she's going to get hit, giving these more burnout. The only problem is, I didn't think about this, she might not get hit next turn. So we have to draw Branding right next turn, hopefully. Little Fade could go on bottom. I think she's just going to die. That's fine, and we can't do print. Okay. Can I ask what exactly the Titans are? Um, I don't know what... So, like, there's more lore in this game than, the, than what's been exposed to the public. And I don't know to what extent the Titans have been explained to the public. Um, versus, like, what Brendan, the writer, is kind of holding back for possible future updates to the game. So I don't want... I know some details, not a lot. I'm not, like... Big. I don't know the lore all that well, so um, I don't want to give up something that is not publicly revealed yet. So sorry about that, but I don't want to, you know, mess up. Um, okay, little fades back. Uh, we're gonna try an intent on death for the rest of her, just to you know curve out. Um, ooh, we're gonna get this other draft, and I think this is gonna be really good. She's gonna take another hit, so we want to start getting armor on her, which means I can do welder helper in front. We don't have sludge yet. Um, Little Fade, hmm. Little Fade Rail Beater I could put down here, which means I could put Welder Helper here in front. More questions. Um, if you want to read the lore tips on the cards, there's an extra button in settings. For, yeah, you could read more lore on the cards, which will give you some more insights. Um, you could certainly ask any question. I'm just not sure I could answer every question. Um, Warcaster Retro says, from what I gather, Titans are like Behemoth or Leviathans in old folklore. Gigantic creatures with overwhelming power. For instance, Elder Guards, HP, Lovecraft, Mythos. Um, we don't want... Oh, yeah, I totally just... I screwed up big time with that, huh? <laughs> I'm not good enough for this strategy. Late of the Reform draft strategy is not for me. I can't fix that, can I? I don't have any damage spells. I just goofed. It was just a goof, and it might cost me the game. But, you know... <laughs> I'm also, like, looking at Chad and, you know... Yeah, I'm being distracted with cool lore questions and whatnot, so... Um, let's just put Little Fade down and put Rail Peter in front, just to end the turn and try and... Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I had that so set up, too. That was, that was set up, I think, for the rest of the game if I just didn't mess up. Um, what, there was a lore... Yeah, there was a lore stream. Eo says, says, I'm out of this fight. You're on your own, Brian. Thanks. Um, okay, Big Sludge I can set up. Big Sludge needs imps in front. So let's just set that up. It's not overthinking. Oh, I have an intent on death. Um, oh, no. Wait, can I solve this? <laughs> okay. I need to intent on death. And I need to... I don't... So, Little Fate is at what cost? I think this will tell me, right? Little Fade's at 1, so if I intend to death 2, and then she dies, she'll be at 3, so I'm just like, it's still player. Okay. I think, I think I can solve this. Let's, let's, okay, she's not dead yet. <laughs> and, uh, oh, wow, I screwed up on this, huh? Um, let's see if I can solve, okay, Big Sludge is not dead yet. <laughs> this is not going well. Um, I'll fortify... Let me see if I can do the math here really quick. Uh, so this kills this guy on the... Fr so I can prevent this from taking a bunch of damage if I just do this. Okay. It might come down to Little Fade being the savior here. Little Fade intent on death combos. Oh my goodness. Yep. <laughs> um... All right. Oh, th this welder helper <laughs> destroyed me. <laughs> this game is funny in that way, though, where you'll just make one little <laughs> mistake. <laughs> uh, oops. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff I want to do here. So is there any way I could protect this little fate? I think I just got to... I'm not going to do all the math here. Like, I'm not going to get out... Uh, calculator.exe and try and figure all this out. So let's just start playing stuff and see. Okay, so that's cool. This is somehow gaining health. I don't know how this is gaining 15 health if we're doing 300. Oh, this is going to die. That's fine. All right, so let's make it not die. Let's bring something back. 
Let's play it. Let's play another thing. Okay. Am I just gonna... No, these are not gonna kill my pyre. I think I need to let this go. I don't think... There's nothing I could do. I just screwed up. Okay, focus on the little fade. Uh, can I do something about this guy? <laughs> There's no way, right? 38 and 8. 46 uh, damage coming in. I guess Welder Helper does, what, 44? Welder Helper will protect this guy. Okay. Yeah, see, calculator.exe is important. Uh, and I'm just going to throw this one down to power up the sludge. Oh, I don't like... I think I could prevent Little Fade from taking damage, which I think has to be my priority. If I'm going to win this run, it is Little Fade intent on death. Only problem is I'm not getting enough HP on Little Fade. And if Little Fade dies, um, I don't have a way to bring her back because she's going to quickly have too much Ember to play her. That's like a gamble with Little Fade, is her cost can go up past what you can afford to play. And we're just kind of all in at this point. I, out of spite, I kind of want to just play this here. Also, I feel like this is going to die because I have 32 damage coming in from this guy alone. Yeah, this is. I'm just gonna lose. So I need to solve the problem of not losing. I need to protect Little Fade at the same time. Um. Mm. <laughs> Seems like a problem. <laughs> if anybody has ideas, let me know. Um, killing this guy seems good, which I can do through impressive. And then I'm only taking 24, 34 damage, which means this will survive. So that's a solution to this problem for the time being. Um, so to solve this problem, intent on death, I feel like I got to do for the long game. I need to I need to get her number above two thousand two hundred and six, as the attack value needs to go up more than that. Uh, sometimes people make unoptimal choices. That's her choices. Yeah, I'm definitely not making optimal choices. Um, but also, like streaming has a way of doing that, right? Because you're focused on a few things at the same time. And you're trying to, you're like pressured to, so I might just sit here for five minutes figuring this out, but also I'm pressured to just like keep going. Um, use magic dev cheats to put Seraph in their cycle pin. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not playing on the build that has cheats enabled. Otherwise I might consider something like that. Um, let's just put chump blockers in front, see what, see what happens. Okay, so she's not dead. So let's play intent on death. 489. That number seems big. <laughs> uh, I can engulf on this room if that's relevant. And what do I do here? Transcend Imp. Does that do anything? Yeah, because I get... I just played out these... Yeah, Transcend Dip solves this. Watch. Told you. I told you. But you didn't listen. Um, I might engulf and smoke here just to protect Little Fade. That seems good. Like, I don't want Little Fate to take damage. That's a priority. Yeah, it's exciting when you're definitely going to lose and you just have to try and figure out if there's a way out. Um, okay. So again, am I going to lose from this room? I think I'm okay. I'm not going to lose the game, but it'd be nice to do some damage output. I have Impressive, so that's something. I could also bring back... I could try and get Transcend Imp back, right? So, like... Here and to trans get transcendent back to solve this room might do it. So I gotta remember that. This, they have one more stealth, so I don't have to worry about this. I should play intent on death. Okay, that's one action. I get a few more. Um, I should play this because I'm gonna. Okay, let me think. Just give me a second, okay? I'm gonna fortify little fade. I'm gonna play impressive on transcendent. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do Sacred Wicks. I should have played Queen's Implane first. Um, Big Sludge, sure. Uh, oh man, it'd be really nice to do a little bit of damage to these ones. In the, they're going to kill. They're doing 30 damage out of 50. This is my big problem right here, and I don't think I could do anything about it. Because this guy has too much HP. Uh, but I have a draft. Wait, is... Big Sludge in drafts enough to do something about this? Let's, let's just play cards and figure out, right? Um, this one can still stay in the, top, in the front, because I don't care about this. Draft. 
Not enough. Um, I play both these as 40 damage, which is enough to kill this. So let's just do it. Play here and play here. All right, I killed this one, 20 damage. Now we're only taking 10 damage up top, so we're good. People in chat just tell me what to do, and it ends up being the right thing, but I still have to just go through it in my own head to figure it out. Okay, we're down to 40 HP on the Pyre. We're going to win this game um, in in four minutes. Uh, okay, Little Fade's not taking damage. That's fine. The, if these die, no problem. Uh, Braining Ray on Little Fade is good. Uh, Intent on Death on Little Fade. Okay, let's just start playing these out. Intent on Death. Primitive Mold. Obvious. Big Sludge is back. Um... Wait, am I going to just lose? No, I figured this out, right? Am I going to lose? 24. Uh, this is exactly 40 damage, right? I think I just lost. <laughs> right? 24 plus is 34 plus 8 is like 42. <laughs> Oh, I think I think that's a mess up. You could use Braining Ray. Oh, <sighs> Antilillium. Am I saying that right? Antilillium. Thank you. Braining Ray you can use on enemy units, and it's five piercing damage, which will kill this one, which will keep me in the game, which I need to do more than the... Okay, okay. We're not out of it yet. I think, because I've played Big Sludge, might survive, but it's only 40 damage. It's not enough to kill this guy. Yes, so we got to do that. Woo! Just let him die, Eosets is saying. I think Eosets is still sour about the Blight card plays. <laughs> Alright, play this here. Um, big Sludge. I might put down here just to tank some damage, and I think we'll kill... Okay, I think I should do that, but I'll play this first. See what we get. Lay the reform, burn out four. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's just put her up here. Just, I don't know, might be relevant. I think I still like this play. Right? Or maybe we do build a top floor now. Because she gives burnout. Let's try it. I don't know. Oh. Ooh. I didn't account for how much health that character had. We almost died. <laughs> We're not out of this game yet, but we need to help Little Fade. She needs a lot of help. Okay. Um, intent on death, Little Fade. I have two chump blockers for her. And I have this. Okay. I think we got some plays. So let's intent on death. Little Fade, up, up, up. Um, put blockers up front. We could also stealth them. Is this a problem? No, this is this is solved. Top room is solved. Um, I she could use some health somehow, some armor. Uh, do I put an imp down? Do impressive probably, just to start doing damage on these back units because I'm worried about those back units. I think I fortify. Let's say fortify. Let's put an imp down. Gives them a bunch of rage too, which is cool. Let's just kill the. F doesn't kill the front unit, but it does a bunch of damage. Okay. Kills this unit, and then this unit will be easy to kill. We're in this game. I'm going to just give her armor. Oh, I wish I could still play Engulfed in Smoke. Huh? Okay. I'm going to win this, Eosets. I'm almost certain I'm going to win this. Okay. Uh, oh, Little Fade. Okay, we need to protect Little Fade. Um, intent on Death, Little Fade. Seems like a good opening. I can reform stuff. Oh, I need to pull an imp so I could do impressive. Ugh. Okay, I need to save two energy because this might be this is gonna be super relevant, right? Intent on death. I need to play because that does almost a thousand damage. Engulf and smoke. I think is really good. Let's put this out front as a chunk blocker. Still not getting through. Um, I come on, give me an imp. Wait, if I do this and I get an imp. I still have energy, so I can decide. This might not give me an amp unit. Ooh, okay. So if I go the imp route, then I won't have energy to play Engulfed in Smoke. Smoke will do stealth two, which means I get two rounds of combat. So it means 
This is 30 damage. I'm trying to do the math here, sorry. Um, this will die from Little Fade 1. This will die from Little Fade 2. And then Little Fade runs out. Little Fade gets attacked for 30 damage. How much health does she have? 44 and 27. I gotta get out calculator. Calculator.exe. 44 plus 27 is 71. So she can take two hits before she dies. She's really close. <laughs> She's really close. Uh, let's give her some more. Plus 9, plus 9. What's plus 18? Plus 18 is 89. I need to give her one more armor. Which I, I give her... So this doesn't matter. This is... Wait, this is going to do 20 damage, which will bring down Dark Wings to 110. I do 100 damage, still has 10 health. So that doesn't matter. I can't do this. I do Engulfed in Smoke. Engulfed in Smoke. And I... I should have engulfed and smoked this guy too. That was a mistake. Oh, look at that. Seraph is dead, Eosets. I told you. I told you, Eosets, I was going to win this game. And it's entirely because Ember Stasis is the reason I won this game. Because Eosets told me it wasn't the right thing to do, and I did it anyway, and I won this game because of. Ember Stasis and Little Fate Intent on Death with Eosets did tell me to do that, which was the right play. Um, shouldn't have won that game, but I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport, Eosets. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow streaming at, let me get the time, and then I have to log off. Um, 1 p.m. Pacific time, I will be back to stream some more. Um, look at all those achievements I just got. Um, yeah, and I, I just cheated. I, I, I don't play on the Steam branch all that much, so I'm unlocking all this kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, thank you for watching the streams today, and uh, I think we have some more streaming coming up, so I will log off and give the next person... Uh, sorry, I don't know who's coming up next. I didn't look at the schedule. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, Eosets, come back, and we will we'll win another one. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I need to actually press the button to log off. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye.